Hi, Cancer. Welcome back. This is your Sun Moon Rising Venus, Cancer, for March 2023. For Cancer, March 2023. Cancer, for March 2023. Hmm. I'm thinking of a rainbow right now. So either you guys are happy because, you know, pertaining to tarot, the Ten of Cups has the rainbow in it. And that's what I'm feeling. So... You guys could be very happy, very content. Um, you could be very watery right now. Either a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right, Cancer? So you guys could be a lot in Pisces energy. Or you could be a Cancer that has Pisces placements. Okay. Three cards for Cancer, please. Three cards. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I'm thinking of the Queen. I'm getting a lot of images with you guys. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone from your past. That's what I was getting love, okay? So um, you guys could definitely be in the Queen of Cup energy, okay? But there's also someone that has a lot of love for you as well. They could be. They don't have to be water, but they are showing up as water. Even the tower back here that's sticking out. Scorpio, look at this. Someone you're dealing with, um, Cancer, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm serious. So you guys could have a lot of water in your birth chart. You could be um, a Cancer with heavy Scorpio placement, especially with the death card here in the tower. Look at that, guys. Or either um, you could have strong, um, so Scorpio and strong Pisces, because I was, <clears throat> I was thinking of the Ten of Cups. You guys could be water dealing with also with a water sign. If someone loves you, they definitely want to hold on to you with that Four of Pentacles. Two more cards, please, for Cancer. I did do your video, but it got lost. I do not know where it is, Cancer. I was looking for it, and it's not showing up. So, probably going to have to get a new phone. Ace of Swords? Ain't that the truth? That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So, something about the Three of Swords, too. Yeah, someone got heartbroken, too. Um, I'm not showing you guys everything, but when the Ace of Swords came out, I saw the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck when this card came out, and then now it's the Ten of Swords. So someone got really hurt over um, a third party or some type of betrayal. Someone could have picked someone thinking this other person's a better option or not, okay? They found that out already. Okay, Cancer, one more card for Cancer, please. Cancer, one more card. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. We have a uh, Queen of Swords. So, yeah, and then we got Sailing Away here. The bottom of the deck. Those two sixes. I just saw Six of Pentacles. Something's definitely balancing out for you, Cancer, in the month of March. Okay, this is your love reading. I forgot to say that love in there, okay? But, um, yeah, some kind of truth is coming out in the month of March. If it hasn't already... It is showing past energy, like someone's love, you know, in love with you, been in love with you. That person may not have already expressed that yet. So for some of you guys, um, some of you cancers, they expressed their love already to you. And other cancers, they haven't did it yet. But um, for some of you guys, you will get the expression of love from this person in the month of March 2023. Yeah, with this uh, Six of Swords energy, this is the main energy for uh, the rest of your, the love energy for you guys. I can't even talk right now. I feel like this person that is trying to come and communicate with you guys, Cancer, I feel like um, they could have problems talking or speaking or communicating. So they might come towards you in a cre like a different way, a creative way, okay? So um, I see here that they want to speak to you, that they got something to say. It's definitely pertaining to the truth. I do feel like some of you cancers already know what they're going to say, or you already know the truth, or you already know like what is going on behind the scenes. For some of you guys, it was a third party. They want to come in and speak their truth on it and tell you what, you know, their part, what happened. Um... Yeah, they are sorry. Um, they could be feeling like pretty bad right now or feeling beat up or defeated right now about it. That's also what I'm getting. Um, yeah, they definitely want to communicate with you this month, Cancer, okay? Because, you know, they want to hold on to you with the Four of Pentacles here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, they definitely want to hold on to you. Yeah, they do feel like... Um, they need to tell you this. They feel like they have to tell you this. A lot of sword energy. So that's what I'm saying. So you got a lot of water showing up. And then a lot of sword energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
So strong Libra, Aquarius here, Gemini. We also have Earth here with the Four of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But definitely either you, you sell the way or they sell the way. But I do feel this person wants to come in and talk to you. I do feel like you're busy doing something else. You're not paying attention to them. I also feel like you guys could have um, switched where you live at, your location. You also could have moved far away from this person. Uh, for some of you guys, you could have moved across a body of water. Or you were just guided to sell away, okay? Because it was difficult, okay, whatever you were going through before with this person. This is a love reading for uh, cancer. I am saying that because... Uh, just staying focused here. Yeah, this person thinks you got options. I picked up the deck. This was left here. Yeah, they might even think you're in a third party, okay? So they might like you, but they might feel you got someone else or you like someone else. I'm also feeling like you got an interest somewhere else with someone new. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Somebody definitely wanted to hold on to you and or either the feeling of keeping you trapped. Maybe you felt trapped by them or something like that. Yeah. yeah, this person has a lot of attraction for you, Cancer. So you did block them, okay? Someone blocked um, a Capricorn. Can be, doesn't have to be. Yeah, somebody blocked a Gemini or a, Cap a Capricorn, Cancer. So you could either be dealing with a Gemini or a Capricorn. Take it as a plot. This may or may not resonate with everybody, but yep. You're either dealing with a Gemini or a Capricorn or a fire energy, Airy Leo, Sagittarius, or air, okay? Because they do want to talk to you. But here with the Six of Swords and Queen of Wands, someone could feel like you got a lot of options because you're very beautiful. The Queen of Wands is highly confident, very self-assured, highly independent, you know. Um, I'm also thinking of the Nine of Pentacles because you guys could po possibly be um, out independently, doing your own thing, making your own money, just stuff like that. I do see that you're not paying them no attention, though, this month. They could come towards you, but you, some of you guys have them blocked, okay? And I'm saying that because of Seven of Wands between these hot, heavy sex cards here, okay? Because Gemini um, is a sex card as well here with the lovers and then we have this Capricorn card here yeah or either if you are being intimate this month you guys are using a lot of protection or you're protecting yourself against um you know pregnancy or something like that okay if someone sailed away to calmer waters that's what I'm seeing there with that six of swords what are the messages oh for cancer okay cancer messages for cancer Messages for Cancer, please, from um, March 2023. Messages for Cancer. That fell out. Messages for Cancer. I keep getting sleepless nights. We'll split the deck in a minute. It's really big here. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we have 6666. So these are just repeating numbers. You could see them in the month of March or you already are seeing numbers like this. It's just a repeating six. It's not evil in the world of tarot, okay? So outside of that, you know, world of tarot, then you guys just, however you interpret it, okay? Then that could be the meaning for you guys. But I don't see no one, you know, in the reading that is like, evil okay i just see that someone from your past don't want you to go they are a lover they do not want you to go they're st they're still stuck on you and stuff like this this means you guys got spiritual gifts okay especially with the repeating this much up to four to me it's like you're extremely gifted spiritually okay so a lot of you guys could on this channel could be psychics healers you could be clairvoyant all those spiritual gifts that um People are kind of scared to tap into. I feel you guys have those type of gifts. And I feel that you guys are using them. Some of you guys could be readers or using these gifts. Use them. You're gifted with them. You know, use these gifts. 
okay and that's why you guys are seeing repeat numbers and stuff you're also very woke and you're you guys got a lot of spiritual and ancient knowledge that's what this means in the world of tarot okay because here's a six here okay we got the six of swords and this is your main energy um cancer for the rest of the month for love so something could definitely be balanced out i, I am noticing i am seeing a lot of sixes in your reading i also saw the six of pentacles too i'm just letting you guys know what i'm seeing okay i did see the six of pentacles too when i was shuffling so something is super significant about six something could also be happening in the next six hours or six days after viewing this please let me know i want to know if it works okay if these numbers are resonating with you guys and you guys are feeling something but definitely guys um six is very significant it could be a, a lucky number for this month especially with it coming out this heavy we have milkshake uh, six inches here we go again uh cancer something about the number six and you guys are chariot energy you're number seven okay but um yeah something about six so if something's not significant right now then maybe in the month of june pay attention to the month of june this year for 2023 we have big one okay that is sexual here someone's talking about how big they are we have good luck this is a rune. To say it says keep going. Yeah, then I say and it's something about your beauty too, Cancer. Right now, whatever you're doing uh, for beauty is working. It's making you very attractive, and we already saw that here. Especially, um, let me show you guys, okay, with the Queen of Wands. So wherever you're you're going now too, where your new location is, Cancer. Okay, so like say you're living somewhere else or you're working somewhere else on a new job or wherever you're doing is different. People are noticing your, your beauty, okay? How you look um, as well as your intelligence. I do see that there with the air there. They could definitely think you're a perfect combo of beauty and brains, okay? Um, also with um, the devil card here, Capricorn. Like I said, a lot of you guys are blocking a past lover. Um, could have had a sexual relationship with that person in the past. They can't get over that. They still are very hot, very turned on by you, especially with the um, the devil card. Uh, they could be a Capricorn, but especially with Capricorn energy being between the Queen of Wands and the seven of wands and then we have the lover's card here yeah you guys were definitely with this person you were definitely intimate and it was hot and heavy you guys had a lot of passionate um nice with this person and um i don't know you're blocking them so i don't know what happened it, it looks really good to me <laughs> i don't know cancer you let me know okay because this shows me that, that this was hot this is a lot of hot sex a very passionate a lot of attraction, you know, like I can't keep my hands off of you. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot going on. That's what I'm saying here. Even with this energy, we have Venus, which is Taurus and Libra's energy. So we have Taurus. They, um, I'm sorry. Taurus is in the second house. It's also a fixed energy. It's an earth sign. It represents the month of, of April. What is this? Value. Okay, it does represent value because um, the Empress card, I'm talking about Empress, which is the main energy running. The Empress energy is Venus. So we have um, monies, which is luxury because the Empress energy likes to have luxury and beautiful things around her. Possessions. Okay. And then we have Libra energy. Love, beauty, art, sex, and beauty. Beautiful, okay? So that's what I'm saying. It's something you're doing this month, Cancer, that is very radiant, very beautiful that you're doing. Whether it's your face, your hair, your body. It says um, Libra energy is cardinal, air, relationships, September. Um, it starts in September, Libra season from September to October. And it's representing the seventh house. So second and seventh house is highlighted here for you cancer okay venus is very strong so a lot of beauties coming through here a lot of attraction a lot of sex wow and neptune we have pisces energy and i was thinking about that right guys at the beginning of the video ten of cups okay which is the rainbow in the ten of cups is what i was thinking about so you're very balanced cancer very complete um very emotionally stable things are very um 
on the emotional side, they're very stable for you. You're feeling good right now. You're feeling happy. You're feeling content. Nothing's bothering you. Um, like there, if there is problems, you're not thinking about it. That's what I mean. Okay. So this is Pisces energy. It's mutable. It's water. It's a minus. It represents the 12th house. It also represents the month of February. Okay. It talks about karma, secrets, self-sabotage, hidden enemies. Neptune. Hmm. Twelfth house. Okay. What is this? Yeah, that's what I was saying. You're beautiful and you're smart. Genius, brilliant, high IQ, smart, intelligent. There we go. Queen of Swords, she's already out. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of communication for you, Cancer, in the month of uh, March 2023. We have King, Queen of Swords. You definitely could be meeting your match as well. Okay, psychic, all-knowing, intuitive knowledge, universal laws. We were just talking about that. Someone around you is definitely seeing you very um, smart and highly intelligent. And also, I'm hearing sophisticated. So I don't know if you're like, you know, you're dressing the part as well. Like, uh, yeah, I'm seeing glasses too. Some of you guys could be wearing glasses. Candy? Let me see. Female fatal. Wow, this hot energy. Cancer, you're hot this month, okay? I'm so happy. This is the last reading because I didn't know what happened to your video, Cancer. But this reading is so exciting. It's beautiful, okay? It shows me how hot you are. You're very hot, very noticeable right now. And people are just not only noticing how hot you are, Cancer. They're noticing your mind, too. So when you speak, there's an intelligence about you that come across people as, wow, she's very smart. She's very intelligent. So they're not just being attracted to you and your great looks, your beautiful looks. They're also being attracted to your mind as well female fatal some of the guys are also in females okay if they take it as apply both sexes here are welcome and you know you could change it how you want however it resonates for you but um female fatal is definitely a hot female that is um kind of like dangerous like guys can't help themselves over these type of women um they definitely trip they stumble that's why i was saying, saying earlier i don't know what to say before i kind of lost for words in the reading the the guys that are coming through in your energy they are shy or either they don't know what to say to you i feel like um you're your beauty could be highly intimidating to them as well as your knowledge. Um, but they love it so much they can't look away. That's what I'm saying. It's like they're stuck on you some type of way. Yeah, you're very happy. Ten of cup energy. Like I said, coming through, this is a Viking rune here on paper. It's talking about sun and joy. I saw 1717 on the clock, guys. There's a Toyota energy here. So someone could be driving a Toyota, either a car, truck, or van. Okay. If you do have a Toyota and you're viewing this, you guys got a message, okay? Live, learn, and grow. Or maybe that could be your next car. So if you don't have a Toyota, you guys might end up getting one, okay? I am getting that. I'm saying it. Um, live, learn, and grow. Property. Yeah, some kind of property. So you guys could be looking for towards ownership in March. If you don't actually own something, it is in your thoughts. You are, you know, thinking about it or wanting to make plans towards that. All spells reverse. Okay, Cancer, your reading is a little bit longer because I apologize for um, the lost video. I don't know why my phone's doing that every month now. But I make all these videos in the month ahead. And then the next thing you know, it there's like a lost video or two. I don't understand it. So, um, Cancer, here we go. Uh, messages for Cancer March 2023. Okay, we have emergency 911. So, I would take that seriously. Someone might have an emergency. Someone might be dialing this number, okay? So, just be on the lookout for that. Maybe you might be in a, a place, at the right place at the right time to help someone. Maybe they might need you to dial 911 or something like that. I never had this card come up and I made it up. But I never had it come up. So just a warning there. Um, cancer, you know, just be on the lookout for someone that might need your help. Okay? Yeah. So it might be pills. Someone, I don't know. So someone could probably overdose or someone might...
take the wrong pills or something like that, the 911 call could be related to pills. Um, take it as apply if this resonates. This might be someone's story out there. Someone could have like maybe a drug overdose or pill, some kind of pill related overdose. Maybe they thought Sometimes you might think you took a pill, but you didn't. You know how that goes, guys. So something like that. Just be careful if you have to take medicine or something this month. Or someone's on medicine, just watch their medicine. Or if you're taking care of someone. Something like that regarding pills is what I'm getting. Um, tell me what else you guys see as well in these messages here. March 2023 for cancer. It says you're going to be fine. All right, so that's great. So, um... If there is some kind of emergency this month, just know that it's going to work out. It says you're, you are going to be fine. It's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Sewing. So someone around here could like to sew or enjoy enjoying sewing or it's relaxing. It is a hobby. Okay, so someone could be sewing beautiful clothes or just sewing something very beautiful this month um cancer march 2023 there are messages coconut okay something about coconuts guys yes this is what i'm saying you're you're so hot okay so that's what i'm saying guys there's like a hot alarm thing going on here with you guys cancer this month i don't know if you're going on many dates or you're dating around or you just got a lot of suitors or a lot of options cancer your reading is off the chain it is off the chain seriously it is cancer cancer march 2023 this is beautiful what is this intuitively gifted we just talked about that all the sixes that are showing up in your reading Something could be significant to you in the year 2021. This is in the past. So I don't know whatever happened to you guys in 2021. They're bringing that up right now. Messages for Cancer, March 2023. Okay. Distant. And we just talked about that. Someone from the distance could be coming back towards you or something. Or either you're moving far away or you're going somewhere far in the distant or um, maybe not right now then distant could mean a little bit later in the future is also what i'm getting cancer it says do not forget me okay so someone feels left out in the cold they could feel distant from you all right this is showing up with this energy here so it says um they could not want you to move away. I do see that someone definitely want to hold on to you. We already talked about this cancer with this four of pinnacle energy here. Someone's got the hots for you. And they don't want this to end, whatever this was, okay? So it says, do not forget me, okay? Cancer, March 2023, last one. The last, these are last names. Somebody's last name could be Wilcox, Okay. I will do another one because that is, you know, very um, significant. That's only going to resonate with a few people. Lusting over you, masturbating over you, hold on to you. We see that already with the four of um, pinnacles. Again, someone really wants to hold on to you, Cancer. Yeah, want you touching themselves. Okay, so they can't help themselves right now. Last one for Cancer, March 2023. It says you are going to going to have money lots of it that's beautiful last one cancer okay money water flow so money is coming to you guys i feel it's going to come very easily then with flow there money water flow the water is just simple it flows it goes anywhere everywhere when you you know turn the faucet on or whatever you turn on it just goes wherever so that's how your money is going to come this month to you, Cancer. It's going to come really easy, um, very light. You're not going to have to work too hard for it. It's just going to be a nice, easy month. Uh, very happy and content. A lot of water energy, Cancer. Like I said, you guys could have a lot of water placements in your birth chart. Very strong Pisces, um, air, and also um, Gemini's here. We also had uh, Capricorn very strongly in um, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And then we also have Earth. But a lot of water coming to you guys. Okay, a room message for Cancer. For March 2023. 
Let's see. All right. All right. See, again, it's talking about a man and the self. I don't have my paper on there to elaborate on this, but it just talks about the men and the self. So he's like um, in hermit energy. This is someone off to themselves thinking about you. There's some men's energy, okay? This is a masculine rune. It is upright. So this man is definitely keeping to himself right now. That's why I'm saying um, you may not know about this one. It could be a secret admirer or someone, a secret lover, something like that. Someone likes someone but they're off to themselves. Like they're not expressing that yet. So that's what I'm seeing with the communication. Maybe this person is thinking about coming in or something. He's thinking, it's like the thinking man card, okay? It's the rune about the men in the self. Just off to himself thinking, focusing on you, but also not letting you know that. I feel like he's trying to make up a plan or something because I see that he wants to hold on to you. This card is, is kicking my butt right now um so he's definitely wanting to hold on to you really hard yeah i think right now he's definitely keeping things close to him you see how everything's close to him he's standing on his pinnacles and everything he could be money focused as well but i also feel that as if he is money focused he's also focused on you too okay so he's it, yeah so if he's planning for the future He's planning his life for the future with you as well. You're in his thoughts really heavy. Okay, and that's what that room means. It just means someone is just thinking to themselves a whole lot. Um, not really expressing much. They're holding back. But this card also talks about holding on to someone. See what I'm saying? So that's all I have for you, Cancer. Until next time, take care. Okay, thank you guys.